All right, welcome back to the quick and dirty walkthrough of doing your monthly books with the Etsy seller spreadsheet if you are looking for a quick refresher and don't feel like watching all those other videos. So let's get started. The first step is to import in your orders CSV. And remember, we can find that from settings, options, download data. Make sure you are selecting the orders CSV for whatever month you want to import in. Download that CSV, open that baby up, click on column two, click and drag all the way down so you've got the entire amount of data highlighted. Once it's all selected, you can copy it, navigate over to whatever month you're working with in your Etsy seller spreadsheets. Click that row two again, that blank row two and select it and then right click and paste. Doing that import is going to bring in all five of your blue rows here. Something that you wanna check real quick is that column W. Make sure that all of your sales taxes are showing up correctly. You only wanna see amounts reported here if it's for a state in which you have Nexus and you're not in a marketplace sales tax state where Etsy is remitting and collecting on your behalf. So everything looks good for me there. My next step is to enter in my green Etsy listing and transaction fees for the month. So back in my Etsy shop, I'm gonna go to my finances, payment accounts. I'm gonna scroll down and look at the last three months. And then I'm going to pull up my screen for whatever month I'm working in, March in this example. You can enter your fees straight from this fee circle if you are pretty sure that this number is reliable. If you're still in that wonky time period that unfortunately we're still in, um, you want to download the CSV right here to verify that your fees are listed and totaled correctly. You can open up that fees CSV, click this little cell right here in the upper left corner to highlight all your data, turn on the filtering ability, and then filter by type to sum up any fees that you want to see. So I'm gonna verify my listing fees by looking at the sum down here, 1280, that's good. I'm gonna check my transaction fees, 139.71, that's good. You would rinse and repeat for your shipping fees, any marketing fees that you've got. Um, you don't need to do it for your sale fees because those are your credit card processing fees that have already been imported in here. So you don't need to worry about those guys. Basically, any of the fees showing up on your fee circle here, you want to verify. And then once you're sure these numbers are correct, uh, you want to enter them onto your Etsy seller spreadsheet. If they're not correct, you want to go with the sum that's showing up on that fees CSV. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my fees here. If you had shipping ones, you can enter them on your postage tab. If you had marketing or advertising ones, you can enter them on your advertising tab. That is how we enter our fees. Uh, the remaining step that you wanna do is just enter those business expenses from your receipts that you've stockpiled, uh, any invoices you have, pull your PayPal statement and your bank account statement or your credit card statement and enter those on the applicable expense tabs. Make sure you pay attention to your dates and enter your dates correctly in date, month, year format. And then once you've entered all your expenses, you can check out your net profit or loss for the month and you are good to go. And you can pat yourself on the back for getting your books for the month done.